we are using the autumn leaves stamp set and we will be doing a little bit of stamping but also i'm using some dyes from the bundle and paper that goes with the suite I, we are going to be doing some stamping with this stamp set. I have a piece of mossy meadow cardstock, an eight and a half by 11 piece cut in half vertically to make it four and a quarter by 11. And then when you fold it in half, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I also have a piece of very vanilla four by five and a quarter for the inside and some designer series paper four by five and a quarter for the outside and then three by four for the outside and then a two and a half inch square of very vanilla that we will be using for our stamping and to put our dies on and I've already cut out some dies in early espresso, and we will be cutting a couple more with the oxidized copper. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and adhere my DSP to my card front. We'll get lost. I'm using the liquid glue because I like that it gives me a minute to adjust my paper once I lay it down so it's not stuck in place yet. Um, and like this, but it's not exactly where I want it. I just slide it around a little bit. And then I'll be putting down the three by four inch paper. Just try to get some glue in the corners. And we'll set this aside while we do our some other things. We are going to do some stamping. And we are making a wreath. So we are going to use a stamp position. This is the Misty Platform by My Sweet Petunia. And I have already set up the stamp here. I did some practicing before. And I'm going to slide this piece of cardstock over in the corner. Let's we'll see where that was going to land. Now it's going to stay up onto the actual misty platform itself, some, but that's okay because it cleans up really, really well. We are using old olive. The stamping in a circle. So I am just going to turn this around. Now, if we were using a smaller stamp, we would be turning it to its corners as well. But this stamp is fairly big, and my square is small enough that 
just stamping this around each corner is going to create a sort of a wreath. Now we're going to be adding some dies to it to add more dimension. If all you have are the stamps, you can absolutely do this with just the stamps. You can do it on a bigger piece of cardstock. I just smacked my magnets together, which is not a good plan. That's why you shouldn't keep them close to each other. I will find them and take care of that after this is over. So there, it, my wreath is done. And I had saved a piece of DSP for the inside of my card, but I have misplaced it. So we're going to figure out an alternative layout. We are just going to stamp I'm thankful as the sentiment. And then I think, just for kicks, I'm going to and my magnet's called this stone right now, so I'm going to hope it doesn't go in here. I'm just going to stamp a couple of leaves at the corner of one edge. Now, I know that this goes right back in the corner, so it shouldn't matter that I don't have my, my magnets right now. And I also want to stamp, I'm thankful. We are actually creating a Christmas thank you card. Don't think of it, keep it in the old olive. I think I will use the black memento. And again, this goes right back in the corner. There is the inside of her. Hard. We see the family brings off all of the mess that I left on the edges. Put my two stamps over here for now. We're done with those. And I'm going to Getting all of my little early espresso dies. I'm going to pull my mini stamp and cut and emboss over. And we're going to cut out a couple more dies. Oops. It's a dropsy kind of thing. Using the die from the autumn leaves bundle. I'm trying to 
figure out a nice place on this that has adhesive backing already on it. Um, I did not realize until I went to cut these out that I am out of my adhesive for the back of my paper before I cut out my dies. So, I will be ordering some of that very There is one, and that may end up being all that I can get out of this, but I hope I get at least one more. Hoping that over here I can get another one. Not sure I do. I can at least get part of one, so that's what. Everything wants to jump off my desk today. I'm not quite sure why. And you could need to take your pick tool for this, which I, of course, don't have out. But the tips of this work really well. Now we are going to pull the car front back over here, provided I can find it. I told you everything is jumping off my desk. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put it inside in here so I, it doesn't run away as well.
And then I am going to glue our stamped piece on the front. The beginning of our wreath. And then I will be taking the backing off of our die cut pieces and starting to lay them around the wreath as well. And they actually kind of go the opposite direction of the stick. Now I'm going to snip off these stems. Because they just create too much of an issue. I'm getting my take a tool because it's not only good for the paper piercer end, but we're going to flip that end over and I'm going to show you this little paddle that's on the other end of the paper piece is a really good tool for getting up under like adhesive backing and getting it started and then you just pull it off. I think I'm going to snip this entire piece off. So we just have that one for an inch. And lay the other one right beside it like that. And then we're going to pick, we're just going to keep doing this with the early espresso die cut leaves until we've created a wreath. There, we have our complete wreath shape, and now we're going to add some little branches of the oxidized copper leaves. We have three of those we're going to fit in here somewhere.
too. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this. If you have fine tip glue, um, this is a perfect place to use it. I have it, but I don't have any with me. So we're just going to paint a little bit of combo. And we're just going to put two of the copper leaves because I've destroyed that one. And then we're going to cut some of the gold trimmed berry vanilla. I'll be making a bow. Snipping off the ends. And then, to the glue dots, to put it right at the base of our wreath. Then I'm going to grab a couple of the sparkle dots and we're going to put them around our wreath as well. Smaller ones on this way. Maybe a couple more dots. Couple more little ones. One up here. Oops, I didn't fly it up. And one right down here. Okay. Now we have our finished wreath card using the Autumn Leaves Stamps and Dice. There is the wreath with the sparkly paper and gems and even the ribbon has a little sparkle. And you open it up and it's the thank you card. Just thank you for someone for being who they are. Thank you for what they do for you or for your Christmas gift. I hope you enjoyed this. Come back next Thursday at two o'clock for the fourth card using the Autumn Leaves stamp set. I'll see you then.